See, all the mill, everybody, every mill team had a had a team. And when Saturday evening come here, everything closed up. See, the college players in the summertime used to come play with these mill teams. What most folks may not realize is that in the 1920s and the 1930s, the mill towns and mill villages were the, were the farm teams for all Major League Baseball. At one point, uh, when the majors weren't paying that much, Hank Utley from Concord wrote in his book, Outlaw Baseball, that uh, guys were skipping out on their contracts with the Major League teams, changing their names and coming south to go play for textile baseball because they were paying more. From back in the 20s and 30s, everybody in those clannered crease on one. Creasy, they called him. They didn't, very few people called him. And he could have went on to the major league and Luther Whitlock. Uh, you going back then, you got way back, a little bit further than Furpo and uh, uh, Creasy. You got Jim Poole. You got Baxter Jordan, both were first baseman, Philadelphia Athletic. You got Hugh Leffler. He was a real good shortstop. Well, they went to the major league. And I reckon the best of the young ones was Sammy Eaton. He was a pitcher for Detroit, and he, he was so good a hitter, they didn't know where to make a, a pitcher or a hitter out. And Fat Parker, he was not a first baseman then. He was a pitcher when he went to Philadelphia Athletic. And some of the young ones that played later on was Freddie Pierce, and it was three or four show boys. And uh, yeah, Hayden Benson.